V6 versus straight six engines, the pros and cons. Six cylinder engines have featured in some heroic cars over the years, with the likes of the Toyota Supra and BMW M3 paving the way for the straight six, and the Honda NSX and R35 GTR cementing the V6 into everyone's automotive psyche. Sadly though, the glory days of the straight six seem to be numbered as V6 turbos are commonly used in many of the world's greatest sports and supercars. So what are the advantages and shortcomings of each setup, and why does the V6 now dominate. Straight six advantages. Like any inline engine, straight six engines are fairly simple because there's no need for cylinder offset, separate heads or valve trains like in a V configuration. And instead of using double the amount of smaller camshafts, a double overhead cam inline six can simply use two longer camshafts to open and close its valves. Access to an inline six's spark plugs, leads and ancillaries for general maintenance is also pretty easy, making this engine an amateur mechanics friend. The biggest advantage of the straight six however is its balance. Due to the normal firing order of a straight six, the pistons move in tandem with their mirror image on the other side of the engine block, meaning that the reciprocating forces balance each other out. This makes for a smooth revving engine for which units like the S50 and RB26 have become synonymous for. Straight six disadvantages. Unfortunately for its fans, there are a few big disadvantages that mean the straight six is all but dead in today's automotive landscape. Packaging has always been an issue as the extra two cylinders when compared to an inline four mean that mounting an engine in a transverse configuration is very difficult. And if mounted sideways, there usually isn't enough room for the size of transmission and drivetrain needed to use a straight six in a front wheel drive setup. The long engine and its components also lack rigidity when compared to a more compact engine setup. The long camshafts and crankshafts naturally try to flex slightly during rotation, along with the engine block lacking the stiffness of a V6 equivalent. The dimensions of the inline six also don't help the car's center of gravity, with rotating and static mass sitting slightly higher in the engine bay than other more compact engine options. V6 advantages. Normally found in 60 or 90 degree configurations, V6 still find their place in many current performance cars, including the Nissan R35 GTR and the new Honda NSX. Compared Compared to inline engines, V6s are far more compact, which makes it a good unit to shoehorn into multiple manufacturer platforms, therefore cutting costs from research and development budgets. The precious space offered up by the neat package also opens the door to forced induction, leaving room for turbochargers to nestle deep within the engine bay. Front wheel drive vehicles can also use a V6 engine more easily, including cars such as the Mazda MX-6, which squeezed in a 2.5 litre V6 in its second generation. So the V6 allowed car companies to easily produce a performance variant of their usual boring four-cylinder cars without having to drastically change chassis dimensions or engine bay organization. V6 Disadvantages Although it may feature the same number of cylinders as its inline brother, the V6 does not have the same intrinsic balance. Effectively made up of using two inline three cylinders stuck together, the V-style engine needs balancing shafts that use specially placed weights to counteract the unwanted inertia created by the reciprocating engine. Without these balancing shafts, large vibration would travel through the crankshaft and offset the efficiency of the reciprocation. The engine balance is worsened as displacement increases because of the longer piston stroke and an increase in bore size. The counterweights needed therefore add complexity to the engine's design and manufacture, increasing overall costs. Naturally, a double overhead cam V6 must have four camshafts and potentially 24 valves in total, so the complexity of the additional valve train components increases the complexity of this engine, which can make working on V6s difficult for less experienced car lovers. Whichever side of the fence you sit on when it comes to favoring either the V6 or the straight six, the good news is that the straight six could be making a comeback. Recently, Mercedes revealed its new modular M256 inline six engine with up to 408 horsepower that will use a 48 volt battery to power the ancillary components and help the powertrain. It'll also emit 15% less CO2 and will replace almost all applications of the existing gasoline V6. So in years to come, we could be seeing a more equal split of V6 and straight six engines, which is great news in my book. People often confuse drifting with power sliding and there is quite a big difference. So today we've got the BMW M2 and we're gonna teach you the differences and how to initiate them. Yeah! 